我的病人可以的话，都请他吃素，所有的动物都不要碰，包括蛋，包括奶。Hello, vibrant viewers, and welcome to this week's Healthy Living, featuring interviews with three esteemed physicians who will discuss the impact of diet on health, the damage to the body caused by consuming animal products, and the innumerable benefits of a plant-based lifestyle. Dr. Hiromi Shinya, a renowned gastroenterologist who practices in Japan and New York City, USA, is the inventor of the Shinya method. This is a non-surgical technique to remove colon polyps or growths on the surface of the colon during colonoscopies or the viewing of the colon using a long, flexible, lighted tube. Devised by Dr. Shinya in 1969, the technique remains a world standard for colon polyp removal. Dr. Shinya is the author of many books, including The Enzyme Factor, which has sold over 2 million copies in Japan. His recent lecture, The Hiromi Shinya Way of Healthy Living, attracted over a thousand attendees in Formosa, Taiwan. Dr. Shinya now explains the close relationship between diet and colon health. So that is one why I say that the uh, diet has to be very, very important in order to keep us young, healthy, and live long. It's actually like the uh, arteriosclerosis. It's like a calcification, hardening of the, uh, the uh, arteries things. It's really difficult to, uh, to return to the young age, but the intestinal muscle is very thick and firm about the one year or two years right diet, one can uh, change to a certain degree. Even the age 90, if I change my type of diet for several years, so they can change. Yeah. So the leaf is a very narrow and eat like a lot of uh, like a, a brown rice to five grain bread, you know. Uh, anything is not to refine the food then this colon becomes much more softer. And then if you're eating a lot of meat, dairy products, milk cheese yogurt, which is also make a colon harder and narrower. According to Dr. Shinya, besides affecting colon health, Consuming meat and other animal products can lead to life-threatening diseases and recommends a plant-based diet. If somebody had uh, breast cancer, uh, colon cancer, or prostate cancer, these are more very high propensity to develop by the lot of meat diet, you know, four or five times a week, but the, the cheese, these people develop a breast cancer and prostate cancer and the colon cancer get easily. But once they had the breast cancer surgery, prostate cancer surgery, whatever he had or she had, you know, that's corrected by doctors. But doctors don't think of the future. So they don't say that the, okay, you have to stop meat and cheese and yogurt things, you know. At that point, then that the uh, patient keep the same diet which uh, she, she had uh, in the past. So four or five years later, she could have another chance on the other side of breast. Dr. Wang He Ming of Formosa or Taiwan has been practicing medicine for over 20 years has performed over 3,500 cancer operations, and is an expert in laparoscopic or minimally evasive surgery. He is also an authority in colorectal surgery, and as a pious Buddhist, has been vegan for almost 20 years. His personal motto is, a vegetarian diet is good for health. Drawing from his extensive medical background and from current research, he shares the benefits of the plant-based diet with the public. According to Dr. Wang, the carcinogens found in meat are the root cause of many types of cancer. 
不只是大肠直肠癌，全球的人类的癌症一直增加，最大的原因是环境污染。人类在这五十年来制造了很多致癌物，那这些致癌物会经由食物链的浓缩作用，最后浓缩在动物身上。那人类大量的吃的肉类就。暴露在这个致癌环境，所以现在大肠癌当然最多，肺癌也是，肺腺癌、乳腺癌、色腹腺癌。那为什么跟肉类有关呢？肉类还有其他的不好，除了其他的那个我讲的那个环境污染以外，肉类本身会致癌。肉类有两个，尤其是红肉哈、牛肉、羊肉，里面的氨基酸跟其他人不一样，有两个氨基酸很可怕，一个叫做左旋苯丙氨酸。l p h e l a n i n 一个是 creatine 基氨酸，这个在红肉非常的高。这种肉只要一加热，这种两个氨基酸加热，就变成异环胺 （heterocyclic amine）。这个已经证实是致癌物。那大约一公斤的烤牛排，威尔当的那个牛排制造的致癌物，相当于六百支香烟呢、啊。一只烤鸡腿。维尔当大概八十支香烟的致癌物，所以你这样吃下来不得了哦。第三是添加物，所有因为商业的考量，东西要保存，他们加了一个很可怕的东西，叫做硝酸盐。硝酸盐本身到我们的肠子以后，跟细菌作用会产生一种化合物，叫做 nitroso c o m p o n d 这个是最强的致癌物。所以什么饮食有呢？腊肉、香肠。火腿这一类的哈姆这些加了很多亚硝酸盐。When we return, we'll learn more from another respected medical expert about the impact of diet on health. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. 
fed fish from the oceans in very concentrated forms. So since food is a package deal, and you can't get one part of the food without the others, we should strive to get all our nutrients from whole plant foods um, as the healthiest source of our nutrition. According to both the American Dietetic Association and Dietitians of Canada, two highly regarded organizations comprised of nutrition professionals in the USA and Canada respectively, the vegetarian diet is a very healthy way of living. For example, a recent article in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association states that vegetarians are less likely to be overweight or have type 2 diabetes, prostate cancer, or colon cancer than meat eaters. Research has shown that a plant-based diet can improve one's health. Cholesterol levels and blood pressure stay low when we consume animal-free products. Flavonoids and polyphenols, powerful antioxidants associated with reduced cancer risk, are found only in plant-based foods. Flavonoids are present in apples, broccoli, kale, and berries while polyphenols are contained in lentils, berries, broccoli, parsley, and whole grains. Ningwai,很多就是類黃酮,就多分類的這些植物要多多吃,這個都是很好的抗氧化物。其實講到最後,其實我們疾病都是因為自由基的關係。我剛剛講的那些肉類,那個是外來的自由基,還有自己內部產